discounts using a proportion. Erin went shopping at a store that was offering a 20% discount on all items. She bought Bluetooth headphones that originally cost $50, what was the discount amount, and sale price. Okay, so if we're going to be using a proportion, we have to think back to that proportion that we've been using. And it looks something like part over whole equals percent over 100%. However, we're working with discounts and that can get a little confusing. So the proportion I like to try to use here is called discount over original equals percent over 100%. So my originals are like my holes and my discounts are like my parts. So this is the proportion that I'm going to be using. So now let me find those different pieces in my word problem. I'm going to grab my highlighter and I'm going to go ahead and highlight those. So I can see in the word problem the original cost was $50. I can also see I have a 20% discount. And then in the question I see we're looking actually for, it looks like we're looking for the discount. So that is going to be my variable and my proportion. So let's go ahead and try to set up that new proportion of discount over original equals percent over 100%. So the discount is what's missing, so I use X for that. My original was $50 equals, and the percent is 20% over 100%. Now there's a few ways that we can solve this proportion. I can use what we would call a scale factor, and I could try to figure out how to get from 100 to 50 and do that same scale factor to 20 to get to X. Or I could cross multiply and divide, which is 50 times 20 and divide by 100. Or I could simplify 20 over 100 and use a scale factor. I think it's easier if we try to use our scale factor here. 100 times a half equals 50. But an easier way to thinking about that is dividing by 2. Because multiplying by half is the same as dividing by 2. So when I divide 20 by 2, I get $10. So that is my discount amount. So that is the answer to the first part of the question. So I'm going to go ahead and box that. Now the second part of the question asks me to find the sale price. To find a sale price, I have to think, what is a discount? Well, discounts are things that are taken away. So I take my original, which is 50, and subtract my discount amount, which was 10, and I'm going to get my sale price, which was $40. So I'm going to go ahead and box that as well. So that's the answer to the second part of the question. So let me think about some takeaways here. I first used a proportion to find the discount amount, and then I used this uh, number sentence here, original minus discount equals sale price. And that is how you use a proportion.